language you use in the timeout. Now, this is, I think, a really big challenge, you know, for a lot of coaches. Some coaches will just go on and, and use all these general generalizations. And I, I just don't think that really gets through to your message. And uh, we <coughs> are trying to have what we're going to call uh, basically like our, 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 our Shiga language is what we're going to call it. And we're putting together almost like a, a dictionary of all of our, our, our information. And we need to do this because we've got players who speak Japanese and, and speak zero English. And we've got some who can speak a little English. And then obviously we've got our foreign players who generally speak English. And all through all of that, when we're giving the information, it can get lost very quickly. So, we're this off season trying to put together a dictionary so that there's one word meaning each word basically has one meaning. And then when we go into the timeouts to save time, excuse me, but also so the players can communicate on the court, there's only one meaning to each word, you know, and uh, you know, my, we can use color systems. So I know coaches use color systems in their defensive schemes, you know, what an offensive call is, what's a pin down, these types of things so that, we can just talk about those things a lot easier. You know, we we also use, uh, for example, on defense, we have three different checkpoints where we send our ball carriers to. Uh, we can use those and talk about the different checkpoints. So the first thing I always try to do in a timeout is make sure we I'm using the common or key words that describe our style of play and our systems. So that when we're trying to fix something, hey, in the pick and roll this time, we're gonna do this, or in the low post, we're gonna do this. And, uh, you know, we had a, this year, for example, we had uh, what we called white hot, which was a, a double team on the white low post from the baseline and, and hot, or hot had one meaning, it means we double team on the catch. So it was white hot, Simple thing, we call a timeout, hey, on this particular player, we're going to white hot. And that makes it very simple for our players to understand. They go in there, they know on that player, it's white hot. So as soon as he catches it, the player defending knows to jump the high side because we've practiced it and the player on the low split goes straight into a double team. If we're just in white, it might be white the first dribble. Okay, so now the player on the low split knows to go on the first dribble. So just common terms that can can help make your time out easy to understand the players know exactly what they've got to go out and do uh, and it also cuts down the amount of talk you're doing and, and stops the general waffling going on secondly i always try to stick to the game plan as my point of reference or point of emphasis in a timeout you know if unless we're trying to change strategy are we getting the game plan done hey we spoke about doing this whatever it is this is what we're going to do, right? Let's make sure we're doing these things and carry on. <clears throat> One important thing is it's very difficult for players to execute anything new during a game. So new plays or anything, you want to try a new defensive scheme, uh, very difficult. And over here in Japan, it's almost impossible. Uh, Japanese are amazing once they learn how to do something, but they're very rule oriented and they, if you change the way you do something, unless you've practiced it, it's very confusing. So, you know, that's something I've learned that at times, I, I think in my old, older days, it's been a good experience for me learning is to try and stick with what we know. <clears throat> As I said, uh, it's a big challenge in Japan. Uh, I lose pretty much 30 seconds of my time out before I even start. So. Often it's a quick chat to the assistant coaches and I'm lucky my assistant coach can understand English reasonably well. Um, and then I'm into the timeout and at most, I probably get to say about one or two things, absolute maximum. So learning how to do that. And as I said, we, we practice out of practice so that our, our players can be uh, more attuned to it and ready for it. 